Hello and welcome to this demo video. Before we get started, I'd just like to explain to you a few things uh, which will relate to all of the basic range spreadsheets. Um, number one, there is a key on the intro and setup tab of all of the spreadsheets showing what the different color headers mean. The blue headers mean that uh, the cell's formulated, so it's locked and you can't change it. The yellow headers are where you can input data and occasionally there might be some gray headers, which is just a different kind of data input, but uh, we'll include instructions as and when that happens. Um, the other thing that you can be aware of is there are ways in which you can damage the spreadsheet. So please do take a look at the link where you see this image, which will take you to a web page to show you how to better preserve your spreadsheet. Um, please feel free to keep a blank version of the spreadsheet somewhere so that if you do mess up uh, a spreadsheet that, you've, um, that you're using, you can in fact just open a new one, a blank one. And some of the spreadsheets only last for a year and then you've got a blank one to start the following year. So do keep a blank copy as a backup somewhere. And uh, lastly, wherever you see this image, you can click on it. It'll take you back to the store where you purchased this product um, to see if you've got anything, um, any more products. Uh, one last thing, to see a demo video, you can click on this uh, on a link that looks like this in order to go to the demo video, but that'll take you to the most recent demo. If in fact we've done upgrades and you're using an older version and you'd like to see the demo relating to your version, then do click on the uh, watch on YouTube link, which will take you to that specific video on YouTube. So I think that's all you need to know. So without further ado, let's move on to this demo video. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the demo video for the uh, personal mileage calculator. Um, this is actually based on a request that I've received to help people to establish um, what kind of benefit their staff are getting if they've got a company car and they're using it for personal use. So there are other spreadsheets, well, it wasn't a free download, you have to look at the website to try and find it, but there's a spreadsheet if you use your car for business use. So if you're using your car for business use and you want to be able to put down the mileage and claim from your business, that's a different spreadsheet. This one is if you are the business and you, your staff have got a company car and they're using the company car for personal use, um, how do you, this will help you actually monitor what's personal use and what's not in order to be able to give them a report at the end of the year to go well, actually that's been the value of you having your car, that kind of thing. So first and foremost, you can put in some names. I think there are 15 spaces here for names of the personnel or people's names. Um, and then you can put in the mileage cost. Now I put in the mileage cost when you using your car for business, assuming that it's the same the other way around. So for the first 10,000 miles, 45p and they're off to 25p. You can obviously change these. You can change these as you see fit. So for the first however many thousand miles at one rate and then thereafter at another rate. Um, you can override individuals. I'll show you how to do that um, in due course, but that would just be the default um, price for mileage. Uh, well, let's, let's say price, it's a default value of the mileage so that you can see what kind of value that person is using. Data entry, pretty straightforward. Just list the vehicles, uh, put the vehicle register down, then select the person who, from your list that you put in the first page as to whose, whose vehicle that is. Then um, number of days off. So what you can do is this will be the period that you put at the top here. So put in the date of the start and the date of the end. As you can say, that's 5th April to 4th of April. So that would be exactly a year. That's why that says exact. If I change that to say the 4th of March, then it says estimate because what it does now is the annual period, it actually estimates the cost rather than um, giving you an exact cost. So if you put in a full year, you can put in the month, you can put in six months, three months, whatever. It will give you a, a, an estimate for the year based on your usage so far. But if you put in a full year, so if you do a full year, um, calendar, whether it be a calendar year or a, a business year, um, it will work out exactly what, what's, what's, what's happened. So the number of days that the person's taken off, you can put in there. I would just go with a leave. If you really want to get pedantic and you want to add sick days on there or something, you can do so. And how many are due in the year? So how many are normally due? So in other words, if you're only halfway through the year and they're taking 10 and they're 20 due, it will calculate that, it'll take them to, into the calculation. Then you put in the mileage of the vehicle. Um, so whatever the mileage is, all the, all uh, miles entered as miles and entered as a whole mile. So don't put in any decimal places. Mileage of the vehicle. And then what is your commute? So the commute is a one round trip commute. So how many miles is your one round trip uh, commute? 
so what that will do is it'll work out how many miles to and from work so because you've said how many days off and uh, whatnot and how long that period is it'll work out how many working days between those and how many days off and so on and so forth and work out their commute then all you need to do is put in that will once you've filled in up to the end of the commute so forget the word mileage it'll give you the period mileage now the period mileage is basically the total mileage less the mileage that you've done on your commute back backwards and forwards to work and it'll give you the mileage that's left over and then of that you can you can assign a portion of that to work so you can say well half of that's work or whatever 2500 miles of that would be work you can assign work mileage so obviously this isn't an exact science to keep that track exactly this is more retrospective kind of looking at it and, and seeing what, what you've used. I mean, unless you've got other spreadsheets to track exactly where you're going and how much mileage you're using. But if you put the uh, work mileage in there for the for this period, that will then essentially work out your personal mileage. And once you've got your personal mileage, you can work out a cost of your mileage based on what you had on the intro and set up there as far as prices are concerned. Um, <clears throat> if you want to override any individual, use the gray column, simply just put in the cost per mile. So if you don't want to work it out based on the other costs and you actually just want to put, you just want to work out the, the cost of the fuel, for argument's sake, you can just put in the workout of cost per mile and put the cost per mile in here. Uh, if you've got different vehicles with different fuel consumption, that kind of thing. Um, put in a cost per mile and it'll it'll use that figure instead of what you've got on your intro. If you leave this one blank, it'll use what you've got on your intro and set up. That will then also have a look at your annual uh, because this is a year, it's got the same figures, but if it wasn't, if you had a half a year's worth of fuel or whatever, it would it would work out pro rata to give you a cost for the, an estimate for the year, and then it would actually say that it's, it's sort of saying exact, um, it'll say that it's, it's an estimate. That's all you need to do. Just list your vehicles, put in those bits of information for each one, and you will get the answers that you need. And lastly, there's a report on this page, so you can come have a look at all the people, values as per values entered, calculated values for the year as miles, and then here shown as values. So these are, those ones are shown as miles, and these are shown as values, i.e. cost, or um, either cost or at least the, the value of, of what, it, what, what it's worth to, 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 the, to the individual. Over here, if you scroll down, you can see your overall breakdown in miles and overall breakdown in value. That's everybody together. You can see what portion uh, you spend, people are spending on commuting, what they're spending on business, what's been spent on personal. And then also if you scroll down further, you can see each person. Um, these are based on the actual figures. These are miles. These are based on the actual figures. This is the value to the person because obviously you might, the, the miles and the value may differ if you've got um, different rates and, and uh, different things going on. Scroll down a bit further. Here you go. You've also got the breakdown miles per person for the annual figures and the uh, value per person. This also obviously depends on, on the mileage, that kind of thing. So I think that's it. You've got your report. That's all generated automatically. All you need to do is first and foremost put the names in and the mileage price and then just put these bits of information once you've set up the dates. But obviously make sure if you don't have any dates in here, none of these will calculate. Um, so you need to make sure you put the dates in of the period that you that, that this information pertains to. That due is for the total year. This taken is how many they've taken so far. Total mileage. What's one round trip to work and home again? What's a, what's what of that portion is your work mileage, vehicle ridge, and sign it to a person. That's it. Um, so I hope that that helps your business. I hope that you understand how the spreadsheet works. And uh, if you are monitoring this kind of thing, I really hope that this bridge helps you. Thank you and goodbye.